One more method to represent the data is through a bar graph. Let's try to draw a bar graph and along with it understand what exactly is this bar graph. So here you can see that <clears throat> there is a name of the fruits, orange, apple, banana and guava and the number of students who like to eat that fruit. So here five students are interested in eating orange, four in apple, six banana and two in guava. So let's try to draw the bar graph for it. For this we would need a graph. In the graph we would like to, like first thing is we would be drawing the vertical and the horizontal axis. So here you can see that I have drawn a horizontal and a vertical axis. The next thing is to decide the scales. The scales actually mean how many squares or how many units would be representing what number. So let's say one here, I'm trying to say that two units would be representing one student. Two unit representing one student. So I'm placing here one two, three, four, five, six and so on. The scales should be assumed with one thing in the mind that it can represent the minimum and the maximum data or the minimum or the maximum number uh, on the axis. So we have to select this scale carefully. So here we are representing the uh, number of the students. So we have to write here number of students. What exactly is this y axis representing? And here we have to write the name of the fruit. So now we have to represent first is orange. So five students would like to have orange. So let's draw the bar graph for it. I'm trying to represent the length. I mean, the, I'm just trying to represent the number five and trying to associate with the orange. So here I am saying that this is number 5. So number of students, 5 students are interested in orange. So here I will just write orange. The next if you see is apple. 4 students would like to eat apple. So here Let's draw that 4. This is the length for the 4. Like to just mention what exactly is this bar for. So it is for apple. 6 students would like to eat banana. So let's draw the bar graph for it. The length for the 6 is here. To bear me with my lines. And two students would like to have guava. So here two. So 
if you see here what i have done i have just created a bars and bars of the length of the number of students who would like to have that fruit so here you can say i have created the bar for orange with respect to the number of students that is 5 created the bar for apple with respect to the number of students who would like to have apple this way i am trying to say that five students would be interested in having orange these many students would like to have apple these many students would like to have banana and so on so if you see here what is a bar graph bar graph is bars are actually representing the length of the number and if you see here they are equally spaced and they are of uniform width the width is not changing the width is same it's the only the thing what is changing here is the length of it and the length actually varies with what the number okay so here the width remains constant length varies with the number and the second important thing is they are uniformly spaced and of uniform width so this is actually a bar graph a bar graph is a method to represent the data in which they are uniformly spaced bars you can say these bars are uniformly spaced and the width remains constant yes the width remains constant and the length varies with the number what we are trying to represent i hope this gives an idea about what is bar graph thank you